still got to do my wiring a little bit. But I'm still going to have side covers, so all this has got to be up and in. Uh, I want to hook up this throttle, so I have to put an adapter to make it run for the cable setup instead. And I got a little tweaking on the engine for the carburetor. And then I'll do like a, a thing across that will help protect the fuel line, the wiring. That's just temporary thing I threw on there. still I'm gonna put uh, belt guards definitely don't want your fingers going in my best boat so it's gonna be a cover over it this fuel pop in there all right yeah i forgot to hook up the ground wire so <laughs> anyway <clears throat> let's see how my belts look on the sides don't see any Real rubbing tension's still fine you don't want too tight but you don't want too loose <coughs> and when you do this okay it's hard to do it from where I'm at. I feel like I have this too tight. So, because I can hear the belt creaking in the pole. So. Mm -hmm. 
you see what does it when I, uh, hold on. I might loosen the pulley a little bit. It does sound like it's creaking. The thing is, these are just cheap pulleys because it was all I could get on uh, short notice. <coughs> Dang. <coughs> so yeah, this transfers the belt. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Seems to be... Mostly this one here is creaking. So I will uh, adjust the belts a little bit. But since the engine rotates uh, this way, so it's pulling on the, here, so you want the return side to have your adjuster. Not, you want the pole side nice and straight. <coughs> and since this one is turning here, you want this one here pulling to be straight and this one to be the tensioner. So this tensioner goes like this. This tensioner goes down like on an angle. But anyway, I'm going to get out of the garage or the barn for a bit because the smoke's pretty bad. It's kind of making me sick.